Hello and welcome back to Nerdy Nerds. Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about Borderlands because it has been absolutely just ran over in the media. It has got terrible reviews. It is not doing very well whatsoever. And as a Borderlands fan, I was really quite excited for this movie. I was like just a kid on Christmas Day when they announced that this movie was being made because I was a huge fan of the games and I thought there's no way a movie wouldn't be good. So when they announced it, super excited and then all of the trailers started coming and I I started planting that seed of doubt and then seeing the cast I thought okay not the best choices but again I can move past that if the film is good and then the final nail in the coffin for me which kind of told me that the film wasn't going to be what I'm hoping for was when I went to see Inside Out and it was a pre-movie trailer for Inside Out, and I thought, well, if they're showing Borderlands before an actual child's film, then this probably isn't going to be very good. So I've now gone to see it. I, I I saw everyone's reviews, and I thought, right, I'm going to go into this with a negative mindset. I'm going to go in, and I'm going to assume it's going to be awful, because then it can only be better. Ladies and gentlemen, when I say it is worse than what everyone else is saying... I, 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 there's no other way to explain it. It is honestly one of the worst things I've ever seen. I sat through it and the whole time I was just straight faced, unhappy. I could have easily walked out. I was not going to walk out, but I could have easily walked out. It was really quite bad. And I'm going to get into the things that make it as bad as it is in just a second. But I just really have to emphasize Everyone was saying this film is awful, and they're wrong. It is worse than awful. It is literally unwatchable. It is so bad. But yeah, let's get into what I think was wrong with the movie, and then we'll get into some positives as well at the end. We'll try and we'll try and like level it out. But I think the negatives kind of outweigh the positives. But let's get into it. So first of all, the casting. The casting for me, when I first saw the casting, I thought, oh my god what's happening, why are they all old. Uh, that was probably quite a big alarm bell at the very beginning. And then the actual movie came on and they all got to be in their roles. And seeing them all play their roles really highlighted just how bad the casting actually was. So Kevin Hart as Roland. When I first saw this, I thought, oh my God, why is Kevin Hart playing Roland? He's a comedy character and Roland is far more stoic than a comedy character. Uh, but luckily enough, I actually think Kevin Hart was one of the highlights of the film. As much as he wasn't great as Roland, I, th I still think he was better than the others were as their characters. So Kevin Hart as Roland, out of 10, I'd give him a three and a half, maybe a four. I'll give him a four. He wasn't terrible. I got to be honest, he wasn't terrible. But I think the other parts of the film, which we'll get to in a moment, also brought down his, his score. So we'll get past him. Let's go to Tiny Tina. Tiny Tina, I mean, all right. The issue with Tiny Tina is she's a nutcase. Absolutely tapped. Mental. Doesn't make much sense. Just goes off on tangents. Crazy little girl. And the girl who played her, is it Ariana Greenblatt? I thought, decent casting. She looked the part. Unfortunately... The, the script let her down. It wasn't her. It was the script that let her down. Like, she wasn't nuts enough. She wasn't mental enough. And she might have thrown some bombs. She might have been good at making bombs and explosions. That's fine. But that's not all that Tina is. And I think that they kind of let her down a little bit by not giving her the, the, the sort of mental case that Tina really is. So that was unfortunate. But again, I don't think that's the actress's fault. I think that is all down to script. And then let's get to the other characters, which is Claptrap. Awful casting. I don't understand why Jack Black was chosen for this when they already have a voice actor for Claptrap. And it just felt kind of off. Claptrap is, like, he's integral to Borderlands. He is, like, the, the piece of Borderlands that everyone loves. To have someone so famous come in and have a recognisable voice, as much as he did a decent version of Claptrap's voice, to have someone so famous that you can still hear their voice, it just doesn't make much sense to me. And it really, 
it just felt quite jarring, and I just didn't. I I'm not the biggest Jack Black fan. I like Jack Black movies. I like his comedy, but I find that he can be quite hit and miss. And I think this for me was a miss. But again, probably because of the script. But again, we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, then we've got Tanith, who is Jamie Lee Curtis. Again, no reason for her to be as old as she is. She's a 65 year old woman, and also cleavage. What's that about? But just ignore that. Jamie Lee Curtis played the role fine. She kind of played it as like a like a socially inept character. Not a problem. No issue really with her playing the role. Uh, but again, not great. Not a great choice. It just seems to me like they went the old route, and I've no idea why. Because we'll in a moment we'll get to why I'm confused why that happened. But I don't understand why she's old. And then we got Lilith. Why is Lilith a 55-year-old woman? I don't understand it. I really don't understand it. And the script for Lilith just was just god-awful because they kind of made out like she was like this this bratty teenager for the, the whole film and like she was like having parental issues and she was just this stroppy teenager throughout the film. And it's a 55-year-old woman. The whole time I'm thinking... What? Even my mate said to me, he was like, I can't take it serious because of Kate Blanchett playing Lilith. And she's so old, stropping about like a teenager. It was honestly the hardest thing to watch. There's a scene where you've got Tanith and her having a conversation that is like between a, like a, a parental figure and a child. And it's a 55 year old woman and a 65 year old woman having this conversation. And you're like... Who do you think we are? We're not stupid. This is ridiculous. So, yeah, the casting, god-awful. If I was going to give the casting a score, I'd give it a one. It was the worst casted movie I've ever seen. However, take that back, I'll give it a two. For one reason and one reason alone. And that is Marcus. Marcus, the guy who played Marcus, mate, couldn't have fit the role any better. He was great. The voice was good. He looked the part. He played the part really well. Marcus was the highlight of this movie. Marcus was perfect. Whoever hired Marcus, give yourself a tap on the back. But if you hired everyone else, then stop. Stop right now. But then, let's get on to the script. The scripting of this movie overall was god-awful. Even the best scenes that happened were let down by the script. It just seemed to me like they didn't think about what the actual story of the film was. They just wanted to make this weird little story between Lilith and, and her parent and, and this, that and the other. It just seemed to me like the script was completely off and it felt like they were writing it for idiots. Like there was times where they explained like storylines like right in front of us where they don't need to explain the storyline. They just need to sort of like glimpse us in the right direction. But they explained everything like we're all stupid. And I'm not stupid. I'm clever. And I went into this thinking it was going to be good. Turns out I am stupid. So yeah, the mo the, mo the, the, the script was, was dumb. Absolutely stupid. And that kind of leads me on to what they were doing with the script and the whole screenplay as a whole. What was this movie about? Like, who was this for? Because if you were telling me before I went into this movie that this was a sequel to all of the Borderlands games and it's kind of set in the future and that's why everyone is old, I'd get it. I'd be like, okay, fair enough. But it's not. And I'm, I'm, I, I don't understand why the twist in the movie was a twist knowing that everyone who was going to see this movie is a Borderlands fan. Everyone who has gone to see this movie already knows the twist before it happens because we've played as Lilith. We've seen Lilith. She's been a huge part of the games. We know who Lilith is and we know what she does and we know what uh, like her reasoning in the game is for. So to have that twist in the movie is like, well, do you think we're all like, like idiots like what what do you think of us like we've come to see this movie as Borderlands fans and yet you've gone down the route of let's make a movie for people who have no idea what this movie's about it should have been 100% fan service instead it seems like they've made a film for a new audience that won't enjoy it anyway because the film is bad like it's just crazy to me 
crazy. Uh, let's get back to a few other things. The 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 bad guy. Awful, awful. At one point, he's like, "Look at my uh, my shield," and I'm like, "I." You don't need to point out you've got a shield on. Anyone who's played the games can see you've got a shield on. I thought it was really cool that he had the shield on. I thought, yes, that's quite a cool thing. I thought they're finally bringing in some of the attachments and some of the, the modifiers. And then he goes and explains what his shield is. And I thought, bro, we knew. You didn't need to tell us. That would have been something for, for like new rock stars to point out as, a, as an Easter egg. Why did you just tell us? Like, what? It was just loads of bad decisions beyond bad decisions beyond bad decisions. Another big thing. Why wasn't Roland using his special turrets? He's got turrets as his special ability. That would have been so sick to bring in at any point. It would have been such a cool moment for him to just go bang, turret on the floor. Have that. No, didn't happen. Don't understand why. The, the whole claptrap doesn't like stairs joke was wasted. It was like a passing joke for them to run up the stairs anyway. That for me, was like the biggest criminal moment because the amount of times in the, in the games where he comes to stairs and it's like a big deal and he can't go up the stairs and he's devastated about it, those were like some of the most hilarious moments in the games and they passed over it like it was just nothing. And I just, I don't understand why. And it was really, really disappointing. Uh, I mean, when it comes to the, the sets, I thought the sets did look good. Some of the CGI was awful. The CGI at the end of the film... Some of the worst CGI I have ever seen in my entire life. Overall, I thought the CGI wasn't that bad when it comes to like the sets and them driving through the sets and like the thresher and stuff. I thought that looked okay. I thought it looked fine. Didn't have an issue with it really. There were like a few off moments, but generally it looked fine. But when you come to the end of the movie and they do the big finale and the big the big twist. Like, the, the moment where you find out the twist is what the twist is. And I'm trying not to give spoilers, but if you're a Borderlands fan, you know anyway. But the the twist at the end of the movie has literally the worst CGI I have probably ever seen. There was other ways they could have gone about it. It was awful. I don't know whose idea it was to have it the way it looked, but it looked god awful and it just like it you could see it wasn't even the person anymore when they got to like the full cgi moments it just fully took away from i mean th the lack of immersion was there anyway but it took it all away so yeah when they say this movie is bad they're lying it's worse than bad it is god awful it is one of the biggest piles of donkey crap i have ever seen and i I'm gutted, to be brutally honest, because there's elements in this movie that weren't in this movie. For example, and also, actually, before I get into the, the next bit, Hammerlock was meant to be in this movie, and Hammerlock was cut out of this movie. Even that would have been great fan service, but I digress. There was elements in this movie that should have been in this movie. For example, right, the opening scene was a monologue and... The monologue was awful because the, the monologue ends with, oh, what a big load of crap, which you think, well, why are you talking like you're a, you're a 20-year-old mosher? Uh, but anyway, the monologue at the beginning was dumb. They should have started this movie with a skag on the road and just the wind, and then all of a sudden the car drives past and the music starts blaring, and they're all in the car, and they do the whole splatter names and their character and whoever wants to explain it whether it's claptrap i think claptrap would have been a better narrator but they did it as lilith but they could have easily done it with the proper intros to the games where they have the car the splats over the skag have them all in the car all having a laugh and joke and those big splatter like animations where they give you the name and the character that is so like huge in borderlands they could have easily done that and it would have been so much cooler and it would have been the perfect way to start the movie. And every character that comes in afterwards, give them a splat animation, their name and them stood next to it. And that would have made it at least a little bit more Borderlands. This wasn't a Borderlands movie. This was just a movie that used the name Borderlands. And that is awful. Absolutely awful. But yeah, when it comes to a sequel, a sequel's probably never going to happen because the movie was so bad, but I would have loved to see Torg, and I'm gutted that we'll probably never see Torg now. I thought that would have been hilarious to see him in real life, but 
it's never going to happen. Uh, the whole, like, fighting within the film was just psychos everywhere and, like, hordes of psychos. And I don't understand why it was just hordes of psychos when in Borderlands it's not really known for, like, horde mode. Like, everything's kind of spaced out. You, It's a runner-gunner and, like, a looter-shooter, but you're not really, like, bombarded with hordes and hordes. Like, you do have quite a lot sometimes, but generally it's known for being spaced out and you go through the map honestly god awful and i'm gutted and i don't know how they're gonna do another film i don't think they ever will i'm i yeah i'm gutted as a fan of Boardlands, i'm absolutely devastated and i really i really hope they scrap this whole concept and maybe in like five years time they go and make another movie and it is like completely separate from this and they get a cast that is all z-list celebrities i don't need celebrities in this movie their budget's took away from the movie because they could have spent all that money they spent on Jack Black, Kate Blanchett, Jamie Lee Curtis, Kevin Hart and actually made a movie and got like the team from the from Miles Morales films and like cell shaded this movie and had it look really really cool. I don't know. I just I'm gutted. As a fan, I'm gutted. As a moviegoer, I was bored and just really not enjoying it and yeah. I think my score out of 10 is going to be a solid I'm going to give it a 2 overall it was the only the only redeeming factors were marcus i thought marcus was really cool and a few moments where you were like oh that's from the games that's that's from the games like the shuttle that, that lilith comes down in that was really cool to me um but overall i think they let us down big time so yeah if you're gonna go see the film I mean, it's your choice, it's your funeral, uh, but I would say wait for it to come out on DVD, and even then, I don't know if I'd bother buying it. I'm really sorry. I really am sorry. I, I, I've seen everyone else's reviews. I know they're bad as well, and I don't mean to add to the dumpster fire, but uh, it really is bad. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching, and I'm sorry that the movie was so, so bad for everyone. I just, I, I'm gutted myself, and I'm gutted for everyone else who was a Borderlands fan. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you in the next one. Remember to like this video if you like this video, and subscribe if you want more content. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers! If you enjoyed that video, why not subscribe? If you enjoyed that video, why not subscribe? It'll help me and Natty continue to do the work that we're doing, and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Thanks!